looking at the Pebble Bee card item finder. So this is a rechargeable find my compatible tag uh, for wallets basically. Um, it does go head to head with the Chipolo. Uh, I've had three of these so far and two of them are broke, um, which isn't great. Um, there's a button on the front to make it, you can reset it and it's supposed to make a noise and this has died. Um, thankfully Chipolo have sent out a replacement for free, um, but that died as well. Um, so they're not too bad price wise, but I had a look at uh, Pebble Bee. So these are rechargeable, whereas the Chipolo cards don't, you can't recharge them. There's a, there's a battery in there, but it's not user replaceable. So with the air tags, you can pop in a CR2032 battery um, and you can make it work again if it doesn't, if it just runs out of battery. Whereas this one is rechargeable. It's from, it's from Pebble Bee. Uh, they don't sell stuff in the UK. So what I did is went on their official website and just placed an order. I think I paid £20 uh, for shipping to the UK. It took about a month. I will pop up the times it, it took on the on the screen uh, in post. Um, but yeah, this one, the main thing is it is rechargeable. The other difference I noticed is with Pebble uh, with Chipolo, um, they've got the tag, uh, round tags. They've also got the, the card spot. Their products are either one or the other. So if you get a product from Chipolo, um, it either works with the Apple Find My Network or their, their app. Um, however, Pebble Bee on this front here, it says works with Find My and works with the Pebble Bee app. Um, not that I would recommend using the Pebble Bee app on its own because I doubt many people are using it. The Find My Network is what we're looking for here. So uh, we're going to have a look at what's in the box. So in the box, we've got the Quick Start Guide. So it says you can download the app uh, on your device. I've also got a little instruction manual for the Pebble Bee card. And I've also got a USB cable. What's quite cool about this, to keep it sort of slim, there's no port on it. It's got a little contact. Uh, there's two little contacts that connect to the device. So in terms of form factor, it's pretty much identical to the uh, Chipolo. Um, the Pebble Bee is ever so slightly thicker from what I can tell. Um, and I think this is just magnetic. So we will have a look at the charger now. So just a standard little, very thin cable, uh, USB-A to that little contact thing. Uh, and then we shall see if it's magnetic. I think it is. Yes. So that's very nice. So I'll just do that again for the camera. Um, pull that close, just snaps in place by itself and it will charge. Uh, looks like there's a speaker hole for something. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you pair it, but we'll have a look at the instructions and get that set up. So it says to get it working, there's a little uh, B on the front. There's a Pebble B. So it's a double click the Pebble B icon. It looks like mine arrived dead, so I'm going to go and charge this and then come back once that's done. So I'm back now and I've got the Pebble Bee charged, so it says to double tap the B icon. And it should start making a noise, which it is doing. So I'm going to open the Find My app now and go to Items. And it says add air tag or add other items. So I'm going to add another item. And the little Lights are blinking. It's found a card, which is perfect. I'm going to press connect. Enter a name. So I'm going to add this as wallet new. Continue. It's beeped again. So it says emoji. I will put a crown. So it says your item is linked to your Apple ID. We'll press agree. I'm going to finish the setup. And it says finish. So it says it's found it. Location. Uh, it's not fully charged yet. You can see on the icon there, it's not charged that much. Oh, there we go. Just updated. It is now fully charged. So I left it plugged in for about uh, an hour, maybe, uh, and it's fully charged. So that Pebble Bee says will last an hour. So uh, there are some pre. There are some. Just got the screen recording. There are some things to bear in mind. So in the instructions, Pebble Bee say that. If you, choose, if you choose the Pebble Bee app setup, you will not have access to the Apple Find My Network. I'm not entirely sure if that's a permanent thing. Um, I just say here. So you can, if you do set it up in the Find My Network and want to use it with the Pebble Bee app, um, you have to factory set the card and then use it with either. As I said, I, wouldn't, I haven't used it, but I wouldn't recommend the Pebble Bee app uh, simply because of the, the size of the network it could be. Um, you'll, stand, you'll stand little to no chance of finding it in theory. Um, the Apple Find My Network is much larger. Everything contributes to it. Uh, Apple Watches, Macs, uh, iPads, uh, iPhones, and everyone's got a phone in their pocket. 
um, so it will find it. So, um, but yeah, if you do want to switch between them for some reason, you can. Uh, it's good that that is an option. So if you move um, from iPhone to Android, for example, um, you'll need the probably app to be able to use it. So, um, yeah, if there's anything weird comes up, I'll put a post on the interface, uh, interface.uk, uh, if there's any weird issues with it. But in theory, it should last a year. So um, it does say it is splash resistant, so it could it could just get a little bit wet, just in, no in the water, for example. Um, and there's a one year warranty, so um, we shall see. So it's a bit more better, it's a bit better. Uh, bit better for the environment than the Chipolo one and hopefully it doesn't break um, because the Chipolo one I had uh, broke so but yeah thank you for watching this video uh, you can find the interface on twitter at the underscore interface underscore uh, we're also on Mastodon as well the link will be down below in the description um, we're on LinkedIn as well uh, yeah thank you for watching this video my name is Alex and don't forget to subscribe to the interface thank you